Um, okay. Um, our office is pretty conventional kind of an office. We've been going for about 25 years, and um, we seem to specialise in um, multiple sites or at least uh, projects that take a fair uh, number of years in the gestation project the uh, process. That kind of suits me very well. I'll just show you some some uh, photographs of um, some of our projects now. Um, that suits me very well because I'm a very slow thinker, and so the longer the project takes to actually happen, the more time I have to kind of mull it over and you know reinvent it and think about it. Um, as I said, most of our projects are on difficult sites, and we seem to specialise in this kind of you know building over other things. This is an example uh, of a, um, uh, a housing. Uh, in fact, it's a rooming house, uh, which we've built on top of an existing car park. Um, we've got two rooming houses that our project, that our office has recently done, and um, both of these were, were in the city of Port Phillip. And you know, as we talk about today about cities and um, uh, the, um, I guess um, I would like to sort of concentrate on the, um, the, the clients that we have, which are uh, perhaps the less fortunate um, uh, members of our society who uh, need places to live. And traditionally, um, the city of Port Phillip, for example, with places like St Kilda, was able to provide uh, that kind of, uh, you know, affordable accommodation, but as, as those um, locations have been gentrified, it's become more and more difficult to um, uh, to afford the rentals. So our clients of housing associations build things like this that we designed um, in order, you know, and this, this particular project was on the side of basically a double fronted terrace. Um, it now houses 30 uh, inhabitants in, in uh, what you might call studio apartments and um, it's along the lane it's, it's hard to see because of the shadows but the lower the lower floor the, the ground floor is still a car park which is a you know the kind of car park that you would have when um, uh, you know next to shopping areas because it's right next to in Bay Street um, some of the internal spaces which are designed to kind of offer a communal some communal living spaces for people to, um, you know, write letters, talk to friends, or um, socialise on balconies. Um, and this is another project in the exactly um, sort of similar brief. Uh, again, about 35, 36 uh, residents. Um, this oh yeah, here we go. Um, Car park again, so building over a car park. Um, uh, pretty tough kind of environment. Um, some of the brickwork here was um, devised from a sketch that we had from an indigenous artist that worked in the area and then he kind of disappeared, so we just had to sort of interpret what he'd left us with. Um, um, sometimes it's difficult, even though you're trying to do something. Um, good and something well, uh, it's difficult to convince the neighbours. Uh, and if you can't read that, it says something like, open today, a ghetto tomorrow. Um, so these were the, the, the window just right opposite the development, and, and these people were very disenfranchised about their, what we did there. Um, but of course, the residents in the development were very happy. Um, the comment I love the most is this, uh, from the woman in the middle who said that uh, the best thing about her apartment was the fact that she could have a fridge and she could put, she could have ice cream in the fridge, um, which was just such a, <laughs> which was such a fantastic thing to think because you know it's such a simple thing to provide and, and that's what she'd be missing all her life. Another project for same client, uh, a housing association in this case in, um, again, in St Kilda, in the city of Port Phillip in Balaclava, two buildings which um, 
uh, mimic each other, but in fact the one on the right is for private ownership and the one on the left is social housing. And we've done, we've designed in such a way that they really can't be told apart. Um, they've also got a shared open space and a very colourful car park below. Um, then this is a project that we've recently won a Institute of Architects Award for, and it's a, uh, a um, about 70 apartments for uh, mostly elderly, but not only elderly, um, people in Altona. Uh, sorry about the cheesy sort of uh, balloons there. Um, that, that's, a, that's a rendered image and this is the real thing, so it's pretty, pretty similar. Um, uh, this was for DHS, you know, the, the, the um, department, um, which was in charge of the stimulus money uh, and uh, uh, commissioned a number of architectural firms to, um, to uh, design projects like this. I'm being marked at, so at internal spaces. Uh, another pro another project, um, this time in the city, drill ball just up, up the road from here, in that little triangle in front of the market. Um, again, above a, an existing space. So I, I guess we're up to projects like this because it sort of show, they show how the city just grows in this kind of topsy-turvy fashion. Um, the bottom, the bottom layer here was the a drill hall. Uh, then we built this apartment. These are the foyers. Um, someone, how someone's actually decked out their apartment underneath is the drill hall itself with big space. 